Jim. Can you hear me, Jim? Are you out there somewhere? You know, I think secretly, secretly. Oh, this glad you drowned. Because it's given him another reason to hate me. Last week. When I left Manchester, he said, I hope the Atlantic is as kind to you as it was to your brother. I tried, I tried to be like you, James. I buried my urges. I'm always going to be a disgrace to him, aren't I? And now, here I am again, mixed up in another scandal, a murder. And you know what the papers will say, and they'll read them, and they'll believe them. <laughs> Disown me forever. Like a dead limb that he once cut off. Maybe it's time I cut myself off. James. James. The police will arrive shortly. Are you all right, sir? Very well, sir. what he wants most in this world. And, uh, why, what is that, sir? Another dead son. It's the only kind he seems to care about. So tell him I'm drinking this poison for him. Bottoms up. Whatever is the matter, holding yourself is not the answer. You poison your own drink. Because I can't make my father love me. <laughs> All fathers love their sons. You know, I've tried to be what he wanted. But all he tells me is fine feathers don't make a fine bird. Well, you seem like a very fine bird to me. Young man. Fathers are not always right. You are drunk. And no man thinks good thoughts when he is drunk. Come. You must take a walk. And clear your head. What? What kind of man would I be if I let her come to you? Huh? Come. 
Come. Do you know what you have, dear? I think Tesla calls it a spirit radio. Yes. So, you are interested in machines, in engineering. Well, my father's an engineer. Brought the railroads to England and designed the carriages that run on them. He's a great businessman. You know, I thought maybe if I learned about machines, then we could find some common ground. <laughs> well, this house is full of mechanical wonders. Now, I must take Miss Van Hatter's suitcase. But please, explore the house. Take your troubles off your mind, young man. Oh, please, let me carry that for you. I'm embarrassed to see you still working for us. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you're a good boy. You relax a while in the library, and when I come back, I will, I will make hot tea, and we will talk some more. Yes? I'm so glad you found me. You know, a man like you would usually be scrambling around looking for Tesla's will. He had money, you know. Sure he left you and your family plenty. Such things do not interest me. So, Tesla's library, it's in there. I'm so sorry. Y you can't see where I'm pointing, can you? Well, if it smells like dust and all the sauce, you are on the right track. Thank you. Perhaps such things do interest me. Then I'm not in any danger. A bientôt, monsieur. Well, Nicola, other than inviting your own murderer, your taste in guests is impeccable. An incantation for astral projection. You really put your faith in this? An incantation for astral projection. Animum carum pare Quia sedectilis velit, lavare cerebrum ab incanabulus, velare sursum incrastinum. The great Tesla, caught in a snare set to catch fools. A man's mind is exposed by his books. And here you are, a man of science, without a single volume on the subject. Nothing but spiritual mumbo-jumbo. Animum carum pare quia sedactilis velit. Seduce the mind because it wants to be seduced. Lavare cerebrum ab incanabulus. Lift the mind from its cradle. Velare sirsum incrastinum. Fly up, up into tomorrow. Are you in there, Tesla? I challenge you. <laughs> I was afraid to come here. I thought I would come face to face with an inventor. Who is greater than I? But I see now who you really are. Nothing but a parlor trick.
Monsieur Tesla, I'm afraid your bizarre offer to make my mistake undone falls on deaf ears. For you see, I do not regard what I did as a mistake at all. That wretched old man abused dozens of women just like me. I could not let that continue. I do not know how you found out, but this secret will remain a secret, or it will be the worst for you. Perils of a blind servant, Tesla. Oh my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Waste not what not. Better, huh? <laughs> How did you know what to do? Darling, I'm an actor. I know what a laudanum overdose looks like. Laudanum? No, it was some whiskey I found. Good well, whiskey. Then you shouldn't touch things that don't belong to you. It'll be your downfall, especially if you're such a lightweight. No. I was poisoned. Perhaps it was meant for Tesla? Perhaps. But I drank it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not many people have seen me at my weakest. It doesn't look so bad. Perhaps don't make a habit out of it, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm okay.
Dear Mr. Tesla, thank you for your kind, if rather ambiguous, invitation. I do not know how you came to hear of me, but in truth, I'm very short of friends these days, so I will gladly come to your island. However, while I'm there, please refrain from offering me drink. There are parts of me that I do not care for, and alcohol tends to bring them forth. I look forward to meeting you. Gustav, Gustav.